Good morning, adventurers. We've just left the town of Sirencester, which is where we arrived to in our last vlog. We decided to just take a couple days and have a little downtime because we really just needed to catch up on some stuff. But it was a really quaint little town. I definitely recommend checking it out if you're in the area. It was really adorable. Mm. But now, today we are in Gloucester. Uh, we're making a pit stop here to get some food. They have a little Christmas market. I gotta pick up some yoga leggings because mine ripped. But it is so cold, so we're gonna go try to see this market quickly and get some yummy warm food. We've come to a little pie shop called So Pie. So we pie. have ordered a couple pies here. I went with the steak and Guinness pie, which mm -hmm. is like a, from what I understand, a classic pie. I don't think that I've had it before. We were trying to decide, we were having a conversation of like whether or not I've eaten this before because we've eaten so much food in England that I can't really yeah. remember. I know we definitely did some meat pies in um, Scotland, yeah. but I don't know if we've really done it here in England. No, but these look so good. Yeah. And what kind did you get? I got the Gloucester game pie. So it should have some local game in there and it said it said it was a, a local delight they took their time making them back there it took a while yeah, for these fresh. to come out fresh yeah out super fresh nice and warm it's a good oh sign gosh. with a heap of gravy on the side yeah, oh yeah and you can get it as a full meal but we just had breakfast not too too long ago so we yeah. just did the pies these are but pretty hearty pies it, yeah anyway. but you can get it with all the fixings like mashed potatoes and all kinds of goodies and these were uh 6.95 pound yep. a piece mm -hmm. i think yeah you guys i'm so excited about this it's nice and uh, crispy on the outside. You've got some chunks of some kind of like herbs or something that they put on here and that in the middle there. This is gonna be pretty dang good. I'm so excited <laughs> for this pie. It smells so oh, good. Man. Yeah, check that out. All right, oh, see man. the steam emanating from it? Yeah. Oh yeah, the smell hits you in the face. It smells so good. It's like a delicious, thick, hearty stew. So you've got your carrots in there. You've got your uh, steak up in there, and the uh, essence of Guinness, very nice. So I've got the perfect bite with some pie crust, some carrots, some of the delicious goo and steak in there. This is gonna be good. It smells amazing. Oh man, that's good. That's stupidly good. It's so like warm and hearty and comforting. <laughs> This is exactly what you need on like a cold day in England. It's nice and crispy on the outside here, you can see. And uh, then on the inside, the pie crust is still, there's like a, this layer of goo. And of course, even more gooey on the inside with all these delicious goodies. Oh yeah. Check that out, big old piece of steak. Oh yeah, covered in Guinness deliciousness. <laughs> so I'm gonna try my Gloucester game pie. Oh yeah, and that aroma comes out of there as soon as you cut into it. Wow. Oh man, it's so flaky and yeah. delicious. Oh yeah, I forgot. So it has lard in there too, which is like bacon pieces and mushrooms. And then, let's see, where is this? And then I think this is the game here. Oh my gosh. So I got a little bit of everything on there. I got a mushroom, I got the meat, I got the lard in, and then of course some of the crispy crust. That just tastes like delicious, hearty winter food. <laughs> just meaty and juicy and salty and savory. Oh my gosh. I think I might add some gravy to my yeah, next bite. Go for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Gravy on top is definitely the way to go. Holy cow. They've got the tiniest ice rink in the world set up over here. Most people are just kind of falling on their asses. It's pretty funny to watch. <laughs> Those little whales look like so much fun to ride around on. I would definitely be doing that. We 
we found the most charming little stand over here that is uh, selling Welsh cakes. It's we've, a homemade recipe too, they're fresh. Yeah, we've actually had Welsh cakes for it in a food video we made in Wales. Mm -hmm. um, and we saw them, they looked really good and they smell amazing, so Huge. I had to give them a try. They yeah. were only a pound each and they're big. Yeah. Yeah, and the guy also told us the whole history of Welsh cakes and all yeah, kinds of stuff. Yeah, we learned that they're all nice and spiced because when people used to work down in mines, all the dust would keep them from tasting too much, so they put a lot of spices in here so that you could taste it, I guess. We had him do sugar on, oh, I think there's sugar on both sides on yeah. this one. <laughs> we, we told him go light on the sugar, but that means cover it in sugar. Oh my god, it smells, it smells right. like Christmas. It's going to be good. Oh man, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh, it is so good. Oh, it's so hot. Lots of sugar. It's all over my mouth. Oh yeah, <laughs> it definitely is. <laughs> it's like still a little bit gooey in the middle there, but it is like all nice and crispy on the outside and that sugar is really light. And there's so much spice and deliciousness. Oh my gosh. Are these raisins? Yeah, I think they're little raisins. But it's like cinnamon, sugary, buttery, thick and dense. Perfect for this chilly weather. Welsh cakes are really interesting because they're kind of like pancake cookies. Mm -hmm. they, they're like somewhere in, in between the two. And the way they cook them over there on the griddle, it kind of cooks like pancakes, but they have this kind of thickness of a cookie. Yeah. But And the goo inside, like an undone cookie or yeah. an unfinished cookie. It's like the best of both worlds. Oh though. my God, it's so, it's so good. good. We made a little stop at Gap, and I got some much-needed gloves. Yes. And uh, Allison got her leggings. My leggings really, and a t-shirt. Really wanted. <laughs> but uh, we kind of lost track of time, and our parking is about to be up. So hopefully we don't arrive there with a big fat ticket. Yeah, we haven't seen. We've gone to the parking lot twice now. We haven't seen anyone there, but who knows? With our luck, we probably just got the ticket. So we've got about uh, an hour or so drive over to the YHA. Even though it's only like 30 miles. <laughs> yeah, but uh, that being said, the scenery has been pretty breathtaking. That's why it takes so long, because you have to drive all these tiny little uh, like country roads. Really windy roads. Yeah, but the plus side is the scenery is amazing. Yeah, we're driving through the Cotswolds right now, and it is pretty magnificent. But uh, I can't remember if we mentioned, but at the YHA we're staying in these tiny little cabins. I guess they're called pods. I think they're called camping pods. Camping yeah. Pods. So we're not really sure what to expect. We don't know if they're bathrooms or any sort of kitchen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure anything. though that the ones I looked at had a kitchen and like a double bed. I think they have all kinds of different configurations, but fingers crossed we actually have a bathroom yeah. in ours. This will be fun though, uh, just kind of figuring out where exactly we're staying because yeah. I don't really know what it's going to be or where it is or anything. So I think it's, it's yeah, a little south of Birmingham is all I know in a very small town. I think like with one or two pubs in it maybe. Yeah. Alright, but I'm gonna flip the GoPro around so you guys can see more of the scenery and less of our amazing smiling faces. arrived at the YHA and we've just gotten all checked in and wow. now we're gonna head to the pod and scope them out. You look excited. I'm excited to see what this is all about. <laughs> Ooh, is that it? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Whoa, the pods are bigger than I thought they'd be. Oh, in um, Eden Project. Yes, yeah. Eden Project, and then we did um, a little nice. bell tent down at Land's End. Oh, this little gosh. guy. So this is your little place. Um, the heater is on the left-hand side, just behind the table here. Okay. Um, so it's adjustable and everything. All right, so let's go check this thing out. Look at this! <laughs> it's like a freaking tiny house! <laughs> this, this thing is, is great, man. so cool. I almost feel like I'm in a boat or something. This is really cool. <laughs> man, I'm glad I found this one. Yeah. This one's really fun. So that's our bed over there in this little nook. And we got the bathroom over here. Oh, all right. it's all in one. Yeah. All right. That'll do. And check this out. That's... The cutest little dining nook. Yeah, we have like a little baby kitchen yeah. and everything. Yeah, and they got a microwave. That'll do. Yeah. All right. That's pretty this cool. This is very cool. Yeah. And check it out. A little seating area. Mm -hmm. There's surprisingly a lot of space in here. Yeah. And this is about the size of like a lot of tiny houses that we've seen. Yeah, exactly. It's a good bit of space. Oh, cool. We just went out to get all of our stuff. And we took a little trip to wait, Rose. Get off of me. He got all sorts of goodies. 
Ended up getting some breakfast and we got some uh, pasta we're gonna be making tonight. It's gonna be good. Oh, yeah. Cause even though we have this little baby kitchen, the actual facilities has a whole full kitchen. Dinner is served, so we've got some delicious pasta with some, uh, what was the sauce? Tomato and uh, something. Some cheesy tomato sauce? Yeah. Marscapone? Yeah. And then there's um, zucchinis and some broccoli. Nice and healthy pasta. Not too bad. <laughs> healthy pasta, yeah. <laughs> Stuff with spinach and cheese. Yeah. But I think we're just gonna, after this, Eric's got a bunch of calls to do. I'm yeah. gonna plan out the rest of our weekend and we're gonna watch, what is it, The Family Man? Yeah, it's such a random movie, but yeah, I really I, like it. I don't, it's kind of a Christmas movie. I don't really remember it, so it'll be fun for me to, to rewatch that. Um, and then I think that's it. So, good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.